Hello guys, um, today I'm going to talk about um, some drawings that uh, we made uh, that you see a lot in like uh, landscape architecture is this kind of you know topos landscapes okay um, this kind of small hills you know those variations of lands okay in terms of topography okay um, is is actually is really you see a lot uh, in the real part project um, because it, it can create like a really uh, good space you know landscape space and it's really efficient in terms of drainage you know um, this is just really cool um, let I would say landform feature okay but how to model that in computer um, then today I'm going to show you how to do that uh, I think the most if um, I think the solely important tools to do that is this um, service from network of curves tool um, in Rhino uh, what you can do is actually really um, really obvious um, for example if I want to draw a hill just draw the outline of your hill like that okay let's say you already have it right to the outline usually that's what you draw on plan right you say okay this was a hill and then you play with the 3d view right trying to figure out how it's gonna looks like right and then but um, to make it 3d you have to have uh, another well frames which is you know you should which is you wanna draw some lines vertically okay with the lines and then you wanna see here right now it's on the flat plane and you wanna click these points on tool and you can drag them up okay you can do 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 like uh, change as much as you want okay things like that okay uh, so you can play with the topo um, so just draw these lines and uh, what's cool about um, this network of curves surface from network of curves is all these curves actually the ones that you can see on on the actual surface okay um, what I mean is like like uh, for example like these points right on the surface on the curve right it's also this is also part of surface okay which means um, like a well frames see here all these curves actually curves of here of these curves okay um, so what they do is you need two directions one is u or x one is v or y okay um, just two different directions and I think these three are definitely the same direction but we need to define another direction um, that that needs us to split the this base you know boundary okay so you just click points and click another points and you can count and uh, you can count you can actually and then you're on a split click the baseline and click the points and then see here they're all separated and then you can see here all these all this can be the same direction right which is right now we have direction in this direction right and also we have lines in this direction okay once we have that we can go ahead and do it just click the tool um, they ask you first uh, select first curve in first direction so we just select them this is the first direction and right click to confirm and then select the second direction right click then they will ask you A B C D you know and you can preview and you can see here that's what we created okay really really I would say that's pretty cool um, so let's see that's what we do okay um, and what's cool about this is sometimes you don't like it you know uh, maybe this is not what you really really want to do you have to like uh, delete it and do the adjustments again see here do adjustments again things like that and then 
just select them again you know one by one and do that it's just a lot of uh, work um, but actually you don't have to do that um, for example um, I draw this right I make a uh, uh, this is this can also be a network see here I have these lines right this frame lines with one direction and this closed circle curves with the other direction okay um, Oh, uh, I forgot to mention one other thing is we cannot actually use lines, okay? This is a point line, right? And to be able to use the network of curves, you have to use curves, okay? Which is this tool, okay? You don't want to use the point line tool, okay? Um, so once you have that, you can actually just go to Grasshopper. See here, I have Grasshopper, right? In Grasshopper, on the service, there's one called network service. Just click and drag it down, right? Um, let me just delete this one and what you do just need to just choose the curves for example this U in one direction you can right click and set multiple curves and you can just select these curves and right click so this is the first direction and right click the V and set multiple curves just select them then they will create it for you okay um, and what's cool about this um, the major thing is it's really dynamic okay you don't have to like to cancel and choose the curves again what you do is you just open this points tool you can actually change automatically see here actually they change okay they, they will change it for you okay it's really flexible you know efficient way of to work with it, I would say okay um, you can do all kinds of change you want alright see here what kind of change you want and you know this is like um I say I create like some kind of shapes you know um, so it's easy to play with um, so I think this is a pretty essential tool um, network for, for uh, service from network of curves so please take advantage of that alright so this the um this is um video uh I will see you next time